Okay. Sorry about that. We got, um... Somebody rang my doorbell. Let's see, further six for four rounds. Thirteen damage. Holy shit. Jake Armitage, you can hit the bastard. Can we do... Okay. Go into cover. Oh, fuck me. Ooh. That hurt. Let's see, I think... Yeah, I remember he had the healing thing. So let's seal him up. Run up to him. Boom. Excellent. So, welcome to the Barrens. I guess I'll need to find a new spot for my gear. Same drag in every city these days. True, I've been around, but Seattle's still a runner's paradise as far as I'm concerned. Now that you've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Alright. Worried man. Let's talk to the worried man. The man before you seems well-mannered, but nervous. Excuse me, sir, I don't know you, but um, you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. We need your help. What's the problem? Some thugs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore. But no, none of them will stand up. But no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. How many of them are there, and how much are you paying? I think there's only two of them right now. I. Can't talk about price, but Mrs. James will surely reward you fairly. Well, my current client is pretty patient. Where are they? Oh, thank you. Just keep heading north. You'll see it at the end of the street. Cool. Let's, uh... Alright, here we are. Commerce is like a weed, taking root in the cracks and crevices of the world wherever it can. A small street market has flourished here amid the crumbling buildings of the Redmond Barrens. Barely have anything left. Not my problem. Pay up or else. Hey, man. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. The thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm. But you can see the thug's patience is fading fast. It looks like he's about to start breaking things. Uh, who the hell are you? Hmm. Medicaid gang. I think punk. I got a better idea to hand over. Today's taken unless you leave alive. Ah, uh, should have gotten more strength. Let's insult his mom. I bet your mom's real proud of you right now. Like I never heard that before. I don't see a badge, so why don't you mind your own? Business. Dusting you is gonna get me paid. I knew you were the guys. I knew you were just looking to cause static. Dash, ice this guy. He has a shotgun? That's not good. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Da -da -da. Well, let's run up to him, smack him once. Four damage. Shit. I suppose I should have. Uh... Hold on, Jake. Can you give me haste? No, you can heal my wound. I'll do that at least. Okay. Okay, so 
so that's a mage thug. Get into cover. Alright, so now. Oof. Let's use Killing Hands on ourselves there and run up and whack them once. There we go, that's better. Good! Alright, smack the mage. Awesome. Cool. Let's uh, talk to Mrs. James. I cannot thank you enough. I hate to see such bloodshed, but those men would uh, not take no for an answer. We simply want to make our way in the world. Shopkeeper hands you a few new yen. Please, it's the least we can do. Thank you. Keep the new yen. Cool. So we got one karma for doing that. Two, let's see here. We need four to upgrade our strength, five to upgrade our body. Um, two is gonna get me a, an etiquette. New etiquette. What can that be? Corporate? Let's see, etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choosing etiquette from below. Choosing etiquette does not cost karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once. But it takes karma to actually up the charisma to that. I suppose we can take the Shadowrunner um, etiquette. That means we know about, we're like we're a pro. Yeah. I like that we're a pro. We have one armor. Right, that's my outfit. That's my outfit. Uh, we also got some other stuff. We got a grenade. Sorry. Oh, here's how to play the game. That's good. I think I got it covered though. Haven't had any problems yet. Uh, let's see. I think, you know what, I think we'll end it here, this episode, because uh, I gotta figure out how to edit this stuff too, because of the damn doorbell. Alright, well, um, alright, we'll end it here. Hopefully I'll see you all again next time, we'll, we'll take on the Halloweener gang and stuff. Uh, yeah, see you then.